reporter Michael Rosenfield has the story. I just was begging him and crying, like begging him that way he would stop like touching me and he wouldn't. He was just grunting at me. She's the 18-year-old who says she was abducted along Jones Street near the Carlton Mobile Home Park. She says a man who looks like this pulled up and without saying a word, threw her into his car. He got out of it and put me into the passenger side with my head at the floorboard and my feet up. The teen says the man took her to a dirt road near these train tracks about a half mile away. And he started like grabbing me and touching me. I was trying to fight him away but he had his hands in my pants and he was like grabbing my boobs and stuff. So like after everything happened my whole shirt and my sports bra were ripped down the front. Eventually the two ended up right here outside the St. Patrick Catholic Church here in Carlton. And then he opened up his door and put pushed me out and then threw my purse after me. The suspect kicking the young girl out of his car and she had to walk to a friend's home about four miles away. And I tried calling my boyfriend or calling anybody and my phone was dead so I had to walk all the way back. They had driven around for about 15 minutes but the walk back took about an hour and a half. It was cold, dark, and she was frightened. And I tried getting cars to stop, but no one would stop. And I didn't want to just, like, walk up to some random person's house because I was already scared. The suspect had a scruffy beard and chipped teeth, and his car was silver and boxy, with an all-black interior and with some sort of small cage in the back seat. We showed the sketch to people who live nearby, but nobody knows who he is. I do not believe he's local. Uh, during the course of our investigation, we checked... Uh, uh, all of the bars, restaurants, uh, uh, food establishments in this area, and nobody has seen an, a, a gentleman of this description around. In a way, I'm kind of glad like it happened to me so because I did fight back in just in case someone else did But at the same time, it's like... I don't know what to do and like it's like everybody knows about it now and they know who I am so it's even like worse. In Carlton, Michael Rosenfield, Channel 7 Action News.